I wanted to give a quick update on my Deadmall VR level for VR chat that I am building in Unity 3D version 5.6.3 P1 and specifically that version because that is the version of Unity you need to build levels and upload content for VR chat. So uh, in the last video I showed you the arcade and I showed you everything in here that I built. If you missed that, uh, I will have a link at the end of the video and in the description for you to check that out. I highly recommend it. This arcade is so cool. Um, I put a lot of time and work into it and there's still gonna be more work to come uh, to make some of these things a bit more interactive uh, for VR chat. But this time around, I want to show you the work that I've done since then and since then, I have been building this plaza, this little court right here. This is heavily inspired by the Hickory Ridge Mall. Um, originally, this was going to be the food court, but as I was building it, the more I was building it, I was realizing this would be better just like as a, a plaza a court area just for like walking through and um, having entrances nearby. Uh, and they have an area that looks very very similar to this in that mall um i really liked the idea of having windows at the top uh slanted windows at the top uh, within the architecture and having a ceiling above that with this little design in the middle for uh, sunlight to come through or moonlight in this case um but yeah, I really liked that design and I wanted to add that in here. I put in some more palm trees. I found some palm trees on yob3d.com and uh, some vases as well. I need to add in some dirt, fill in some dirt in here and make it a little bit more realistic, but we'll get to those details later on. Also, since the last time I did a video, I have moved the Japanese bookstore over here and I've been adding in columns or pillars uh, throughout the mall to feel to make it feel a bit more immersive. I've one thing I'm learning with designing this is that it's the small little details that you don't really pay attention to within a mall that make it feel like a mall. And one of those things is having um, walls or columns or pillars separating stores in between and maybe having a little style to them. Uh, so I added in those and I've added in, I've added them in over here as well and in between these abandoned shops. And I will be putting other textures on them. These, All these textures, well, majority of them are temporary. They're just placeholders until the final design or layout of this mall is complete. Um, once the layout is complete, then I will go back over it and make sure all the textures are um, appropriate for whatever they are they're on. And so, also, I've added in this fountain. Uh, a while back in a previous iteration, I had this fountain. Um, I also had water particles. Um, using the particle system, um, flowing out on each level of this fountain. Uh, but since then, the asset that I was using um, is outdated and it isn't compatible with this version of Unity. So I was thinking about it and I'm like, well, if this is a dead mall, I mean, I don't think it's going to hurt just leaving it with stagnant water in there and not having water flowing out. So I think it kind of adds to the, the atmosphere not having water flowing down. So. I took that out, um, who knows, I might add it back in later, figure out a new way to do it, but for now, uh, this is just going to have the water it has in there right now. I want to add in some trash cans and some benches around here. Uh, this pizza shop with this very sad, lonely slice of pizza on the ground. Look at that, how sad is that pizza? So sad. 
this pizza shop, anyway, this pizza shop um, will be moved because this is no longer the food court. I will have some other like novelty shops around here, some bookshops, um, maybe an entrance. I don't know. I might make this whole mall like completely shut in and make it a bit more creepy that way. But um, for now, uh, this pizza shop is going to move. This is no longer the food court. There will be novelty shops, bookshops, um, stuff like that. And I took these halls and I made them a bit wider. Um, you can kind of see from the top. These halls with the glass ceilings were about half that size before. And I was realizing that the, the ratio of the the walls in the area where the stores are was not appropriate to the size of the player and realizing that if a player is about the size of this strange mannequin covering her face for what reason I don't know um, if a player was that size then this would have had to have been a lot bigger um, this this middle area where the stores are uh, previously that was about half that size and I realized you know I need to make that bigger because there needs to be enough room for actual size shops in there so these these walls um, lining the halls are just placeholders for now until I find more storefronts to to add and separating them with the new columns that I found after that is complete uh, I will have a few explorable stores in here not not a whole lot the ones that will be explorable will be um it'll be intentional and they will be that way for specific reasons maybe there will be certain easter eggs or things for players to find or interact with otherwise majority of the stores will be um just storefronts for now so i can complete the mall overall and who knows maybe once the mall is completely done then I will go back and update uh, individual stores, opening them for players to explore. Uh, but for now, um, they will just majority of them will be storefronts. And when they get down to this hall, this is where I think I'm going to have the food court. So I will have the food court here in the middle at the end of these two halls. Um, and once I have that, I think after that, I will have it connect to, I don't know, maybe another hall leading to an anchor, uh, like JCPenney's or Target or Macy's, something like that. Um, and maybe another hall just leading to some more shops. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm going to continue working on what I have so far down here and putting it together and seeing how it goes and uh, in the meantime I will keep you guys updated and posted on all the latest uh, updates to this to this level and like this sign here says this level is still under construction it will be updated over time this dead mall was inspired by this is Dan Bell and his dead mall series if you haven't checked it out like I said earlier in the video Please go check it out. It is an amazing series. He puts so much time and effort into it. It's awesome. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and like the video down below if you can. It helps me out as a content creator. And feel free to leave comments down below with suggestions for for me, you know, like anything that you think might be cool to add into the mall, something vaporwave or cyber ghetto or cyberpunk or even just aspects of abandoned buildings that maybe I, d I overlooked yeah feel free to let me know and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video